The people that you don't connect with and understand, the people whose manufacturing jobs have left, who've been besieged by high crime communities, and who've been affected by a policy of uncontrolled immigration, those voices, those experiences, don't get covered on this network. That's so, why, the, I, mean, I mean, to prove the point, I was, I was booked to talk about the very issues I'm just describing, and you're not even asking about them, because they're not interesting facts to you. That's not true. I have plenty of questions on immigration. You've attempted to filibuster by talking about your flight no, to the I'm president. Not, I'm, no, I'm not. I want to ask a you a question, because don't, you, No, you, don't you, be you, condescending. Jay, Jay. Stephen. Jay, the president the reason, and the no, White House. The reason why the I want to talk and the about. White, the president Jay, and the White House. the reason why I want to talk about the president's experiences, what I've seen with him traveling to meet dozens of foreign leaders, with his incredible work. Okay, you're not answering major, the questions. No, I understand. You have 24 hours a day of anti-Trump material. You're, being, and you're not going to give three minutes for the American people I to get hear it. the real experience you're, you, of you, Donald Trump. There's one viewer that you care about right now, and you're being obsequious. No, you're being which, a factotum no, in order you're to being, please him. Okay. No, and I think, you know, I've you know wasted, I, I think I've wasted enough of my you viewers' know who time. I, you know who Thank I you, care Stephen. about? <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! <laughs> okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so we have a few more days before the big debate. And I want to show you how biased CNN is. The other day, we have this host here. I forget her name. And we also have Donald Trump press secretary. Woo! She was on here trying to make a case. And this happens. So it takes someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump, to see that Jake Tapper has Ma consistently we're stop frequently this interview if you're going to keep President attacking Trump my colleagues. Adolf Hilter. Uh, Ma'am, uh, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating... to attack my colleagues. I would like to talk about I Joe Biden stating... and Donald Trump, who you work for. Yes. If you are and here we... to speak on his behalf, and I, I am willing to have this conversation. I am stating facts that your colleagues have stated in the past. Okay. Now, uh, as I'm for sorry, this guys. Debate, we're going to come back out to the panel. For, Caroline, thank you very much for your time. You are welcome to come back at any point. She is welcome to come back and speak about Donald Trump. And Donald Trump will have equal time to Joe Biden when they both join us now at next early later this week in Atlanta for this debate. Yeah. So don't talk about my colleague. Don't talk about my colleague and cut off her feed. And just went along like a spoiled little brat. This is not the first time this happened. Okay. Now, what she's upset about, she's upset that we're calling Jack Tapper and not being is 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 a biased commentator. It's gonna be Jack Tapper, Jake Tapper, the fake tapper, whatever his name is, and Dana Bash. Both of them hate Donald Trump. And these are so called reporters. Okay, they got bias. Their bias was shown. They wear their hearts on their sleeve. And if you don't believe me, here's a clip. The dehumanizing rhetoric of Adolf Hitler is once again alive and well on a national political stage. This time, of course, in the United States. This time given life by former president and current Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump. Let's recognize this comment for what it is. A long-standing anti-Semitic trope that the true allegiance for Jews is to their religion rather than their country. It was used in Nazi Germany to justify the arrests, persecutions, and mass killings, that attempted extermination of the Jewish people. And Trump has been pushing this trope for years. President Trump pushing a brand new conspiracy theory, one seemingly grounded more in suspicions and his desire for a counter narrative than it is based on established facts. It's worth remembering that while we're sticking to the facts and telling you just what we know, President Trump apparently has no such constraints, since he simply makes stuff up. He frequently lies and has a long and well-documented career engaging in conspiracy theories 
about all manner of subjects with no concrete evidence ever provided. He's focused on propelling a counter narrative to try to undermine the special counsel investigation. It's a, a fable in which he is the victim and law enforcement officials are the bad guy. So to think that the Congress is going to solve this, they, can, they barely can get a post office name these days. It's true. I mean, yeah. and you can go down the list of Supreme Court decisions that kicked whatever issue over across the street over to Congress, yeah. whether it is, um, I mean, an Obamacare, uh, which is something that the Democrats were very happy about when they yeah. when they did that, a different little bit of a different kind of court. Uh, voting rights, I think, is maybe the primary example right. of what you're saying before this. Um, you know, look, unfortunately for America, the court ne isn't necessarily wrong that this is the way the framers wanted it to be. They wanted Congress, the people who are closest to their constituents to be able to make the, the rules of the laws. So, in essence, Donald Trump is going to go against three people. Jake the Snake, Dana Bash, and Mr. Biden. Matter of fact, has anybody seen Mr. Biden? Because rumors is CNN has given Biden the question beforehand, and that's why he's in a basement studying. He is studying his answers to make sure they get him all drugged up, even though Donald Trump is demanding a drug test before the debate. We know it's not going to happen because it's not going to happen. <laughs> I just want to debate this guy, but you know, and I'm going to I'm going to demand a drug test too. By the way, I am. No, I really am. him coming in like the state of the union he was high as a kite <laughs> Donald Trump is going to go in one versus three with his hands tied behind his back because Mr. Judge Mertron has a gag order so there are going to be some things that Trump cannot say either even at the debate we have some breaking news. The judge has now partially lifted Donald Trump's gag order in his hush money case with his sentencing now just 16 days away. So three versus one plus his hands tied behind his back. With all of the odds against him, I'm still putting my money on Trump. How about that? <laughs> anyway, it's going to be a shit show and I can't wait to see it. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like, hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you reporters, get your ass off my lawn.